see her looking like that, and elephants way in the distance. Hello, Ellen in Arkansas. You're wondering, we've just seen that little elephant uh, swimming. I wonder if they're not a little bit alarmed by Ronald there. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are. Uh, you want to know if it's born during a drought, how quickly will an elephant adapt to swimming? Well, I, th I think very quickly indeed. You know, I mean, that elephant is probably a year old or so. And while it's been born during some pretty dry times, it's certainly seen water in Bifelsog Dam, so enough for it to have swum in. It's seen water here. It would have seen water probably in Arethusa Dam. I think they've been in both dams, this half-trunk herd, and all of the dams in Bifelsog. So although it's a drought, it has seen water before. And also, I think, you know, unlike human beings, which have to be taught for seemingly a appalling amount of time how to swim. Uh, young elephants and young dogs, as you I mean anybody who's owned a dog before knows, you put them in water and they just know how to swim. And I think it's very much the same for that elephant. Blacksmith plover on the right there, well, no, back to the elephant there, having a wonderful swim. Look at that. It's not even deep enough for him. Hello, D you, David, you're in the UK and you're our Zoomie. I think you're doing an absolutely spectacular job. So thank you very much for your dedication and for the skill with which you're operating that camera at the moment. Mercifully not me doing it. I'm hopeless at it. Just can't get out. You can see he feels like maybe he should get out. Perhaps Mum said that's enough, but he's not getting out. Yeah, Mum is reacting to some Impala and I think also the smell of that rover. I think she's unfamiliar with it. And so it's quite a good thing that it's not moving. It's quite a good thing that it's just sitting there and they can get used to it as a totally harmless part of the environment. But see how they've formed a protective ring around the little one as it obliviously swims in the water there. I think that is just too sweet. And I've no doubt that Mum would love to have a swim too, but it's just a bit shallow in here for her.